In this lesson, we shall discuss about the culture of the Sultanate period. The establishment of Delhi Sultanate can be considered as the beginning of a new era of cultural development in India. Let us first have a look at the administration of Sultanate period. Administration was divided into three parts. Central administration, provincial administration and local administration. Let us see the main features of the administration systems. First is central administration. The position of the Sultan in the central administration was very important. He was the commander in chief of the army and appointed ministers for his help. Then comes the provincial administration. The whole country was divided into many provinces called Iktas. The officer of each province was called as Iktadar. There were districts under provinces and the officer of the district was called Chief Shikdar. Under them there were subdivisional areas called Shik. And the officer of the Shik was called the Shikdar. And then comes the local administration. Each Shik was divided into Parganas. A group of villages were called as Pargana. The smallest unit of the administration was village. And the chief of the village was called as the Chaudhri. The movement driven by saints and social reformers, became popular as the Bhakti movement. Kabir, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Guru Nanak, Dadu Dayal, Rai Das, Tukaram, Mirabai, etc. are famous among the Bhakti saints. Let us now briefly discuss about the Bhakti saints. Kabir Kabir was a great social reformer. He believed in formless God. His famous compilations are Sakhi, Sabad and Ramani. Mirabai She was a devotee of Lord Krishna. She wrote many poems. She used to sing bhajans in the worship of Lord Krishna. Guru Nanak He was the founder of Sikh religion. He believed that there is only one God. Ik Unkar There is only one God. Here are the names of some well-known Sufi saints. Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti of Ajmer Hazrat Nizamuddin Aulia of Delhi and Baba Farid of Punjab. That's all in this session. Goodbye children.